welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are back in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making something from the Yellowstone cookbook and today's recipe is going to be potato corn chowder. Sounds pretty good actually. Oh, let me get that back in there. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to want to do for this is get a large pot and fill it with some water and put a little salt in it. You're going to take four Yukon Gold potatoes. You're going to peel them and then chop them into half, about half inch cubes, um, which I have here. Um, you're going to go ahead and put them in the water and then bring that, heat that water up on a high temperature until it comes to a boil. Once it starts boiling, turn it down to a medium and then let it parboil is what it's called. It means kind of like pre-cook. So you're not cooking it all the way. You're just cooking it a little bit. So let it parboil for about five minutes and then drain them. Now, once you've drained them, it says to transfer them to a cutting board and let them cool and set aside. I did not transfer mine to a cutting board. I didn't want to dirty up any more dishes. So I just left mine in the drain, the strainer, okay? All right, so then you're gonna take the same pot that you just used to do the potatoes. Oh, oh, also ahead of time, you are gonna need one onion cut up and one green pepper cut up as well. And then you're going to need one, what is it? Uh, uh, a, a fourth of a cup of chopped fresh flat leaf parsley um, chopped up as well. Um, and I think that's it, correct? Yes, okay. So what you're gonna do now is you are gonna take six tablespoons of unsalted butter and put it in the pan that you just um, cooked your potatoes in and turn it on to a medium heat and you're gonna melt the butter, okay? Let me grab something, I forgot one thing. Oh, not here. Um, hopefully I can find it quickly. I forgot the cayenne pepper for this. I'm not sure I've got it ready for when I need it. Oh, too many herbs, ah, found it. Too many herbs, guys, too many herbs, okay. Okay, so now once your butter is getting nice and melted, you are going to go ahead and add in your chopped up onion and your chopped up bell pepper, okay? And you are going to cook those in here until they're softened. It should take about five minutes, okay? So here is my chopped up onion and my chopped up bell pepper. I'm just going to put these in the pan with the onion. And we're just gonna let those cook, okay? All right, you guys, so I will be back as soon as these are softened up and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, you guys, so our potatoes are nice and tender. They're looking great. So as you can tell, if you stir these up, they're kind of really tender. You can just chop them with a spatula, which is what you want. Fantastic. Okay. So now our last step here is you are gonna add one can of evaporated milk. This is 12 fluid ounces, which is how much it says to use. You're gonna dump that in there, give it a good stir, make sure it's all nice and worked in. And all you're gonna do from here is just get this heated back up and then you can plop it in bowls and serve it immediately, okay? Make sure that evaporated milk gets nice and heated, or I'm uh, nice and mixed in. I'm sorry, not nice and heated, but nice and mixed in. All right, there we go. That looks fabulous. All right, you guys, I will give you a look at what this looks like. Look at that. You got all that potato and corn and parsley and onions and green pepper. You can eat, see all of it. It's really nice looking, okay? All right, so. So make sure she's nice and hot here. She's looking like she's nice and hot, so I think we're good. All right, here we go. Let's give this a try, shall we? All right, whoops. All right. Very hot, I think. I don't wanna burn my mouth, because that hurts, and then you can't really taste it when you burn your mouth. I've done it a couple times now. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good, you guys. Now, I don't know that I've ever had corn chowder or potato and corn chowder. I think I've had potato, like a 
potato, I don't think it was a chowder. I think we're just talking about potato soup. I don't know if there is a potato chowder. But anyways, it is really good. Now I would think that it would be a little bit more um, thicker because usually when I think of chowder, I think maybe it's just because I'm thinking of cham, clam chowder and whenever I have had clam chowder, it's kind of thick. So maybe I'm thinking it should be a little bit thicker, but it's still really delicious. I love chowders for like dipping rolls and stuff in. That's like one of my favorite things to do with it. Um, so I will definitely be dipping some kind of bread in this um, when I eat it for dinner tonight. So you guys can serve it immediately as soon as it's up to temp of what you think it should be. Mine was already hot. It's not, it already started burning my, my mouth. So, um, but yeah, this is all ready. So that's it, you guys. This is delicious. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe if you like or don't if you don't. Everyone have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy, and we will see you later. Bye.